Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy, Man Skills. How y'all doing? All right, what's up? My name is Willie Jefferson Jr., and I'm the owner and operator of MadSkills.com, Houston Gamer. Houston Gamer is my blog. So, what do I do? I write about items, companies, PR firms, developers, publishers, and like. Send me for a view. So, what we're doing today, though, is a last-minute holiday gift guide for gamers. You're a parent. You're a guardian, you're an auntie, an uncle, and there's a gamer on your list of gifts to buy, and you're not quite sure what to buy for them. So, hey, your friendly neighborhood gamer, Mad Skills, is here to help. All right, so let's break this down by ages. So, for eight and under, I have a few recommendations. The first one, of course, is Minecraft. Minecraft's been hot for several years. You cannot go wrong with this. It's a lot of fun stuff. They all released a new Minecraft game, and it's available on Game Pass for you to try in case you know you want to see if your gamer likes it or not. The next one would be DC Justice League Cosmic Chaos. Manage these small little characters featuring Wonder Woman, of course. Got number love for Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, and Gal Gadot. Oh man, Gal Gadot. But you can also play as Man of Steel, Batman, Aquaman, various other ones. What they're trying to do is they're trying to set their world free from the grimy, uh, slimy, crusty hands of Mixoplex. So the next one is Legos. Now with Legos, they've been they've been popping a whole lot. You know they have never really died down. From the physical Legos to even digital games, they're always fun to play, especially watching uh, what your favorite gamer will do with his or her um, Lego character. So that's always a great option. If your favorite gamer plays an Xbox, Xbox One, or an Xbox all the way up to a Series X or PC, you can subscribe to Game Pass. And there are two tiers of it, Game Pass and then Game Pass Ultimate. With Ultimate, you get all the bells and whistles. But regardless, the Microsoft first-party titles, most of them will be on there. And this actually gives you a chance to try before you buy. So, let's say, for instance, they want to play a game. They want to play Minecraft or Minecraft Legends, different things like that. They can actually try various games before they decide to ultimately buy them. So the cool thing about that is if you try a game, they try a game, they don't like it, they can just delete it. It's just like back in the day going to Blockbuster. If you played a game you didn't like it, that was five bucks out of your pocket and you couldn't get it back. But with this, several different games. And as long as you keep paying the subscription, then what will happen is they'll still get a chance to access toward the game. For the young ladies, I didn't leave you out. I understand, you know, the baby, she plays, she loves Lego game. Young ladies specifically. If you're in the fashion, all right, if you wear your mom's heels, if you try to put your her lipstick on, different things like that, then this right here will be for you. So the first is a slightly older title, but it's called My Universe Fashion Boutique. And in this one, you create an avatar and you run a boutique. And you get a chance to sell to various people that come through the store. Try to match them up with whatever they're asking for and their personality. Back in the day, it was on. there was a, a similar video game on Nintendo DS. And it was called Style Savvy. I actually loved the game. It was fun. I actually progressed very far in it. But... Haven't played it in a while, but that's still a pretty good option. Next is Animal Crossing New Horizon. Now, Animal Crossing has been out whoo, for at least, I mean, nearly five years. And but it's still very, you know, it's kinda kinda hard to find. But it is fun because you will literally waste hours just running around, shaking trees building up, saving, getting as many bells as you can because that's the currency in the game. And I mean, it's just so fun. Now, as far as teens, the craziest thing out there right now is Fortnite. I mean, they recently released a 
a skin for Eminem. <laughs> I mean, and they're staying relevant. It's free to play, but like for instance, to get the Eminem skin and different things like that, various upgrade weapons, then you have to pay for that. So you could consider maybe giving giving them a gift card that can they can use that toward buying different items for Fortnite. But that's extremely popular. Then also you have the Sims 4. Now, Sims 4 is actually free. That even with the price of admission, the base game is awesome. And there's so much that you can do with it. On consoles, you can't mod it as much as a PC. With the Sims, there's a lot of older parts, older different components and upgrades from previous games that you can install in there. Now, it may be a little bit twitchy, but and you want to grab various packs. Some of them are small. Some of them are different experiences altogether. For instance, I know university, high school, seasons, different things like that. Those expansions run generally $40, but you can sometimes find them on sale for as low as 20 If you are invested in the Sims universe, you could find yourself, like just start tabulating all the different packs you have you could actually even easily max out over $1,000 for the game. That is crazy. That is insane. If there are any farmers, hmm, any young men growing up on a farm or young ladies, think, man, that would be so cool to just manage my own farm, then guess what? I got you covered. Farming Simulator 22 and also Farming Simulator 23 on the Nintendo Switch, those are great offerings. Um, you get a chance to manage crops upgrade your farming equipment now the difference is that farming simulator 22 is available on consoles as well as pc but 23 is only available on nintendo switch but the graphics are actually superior on the 22 version even though it sounds older if your gamer is a sports fan they like the saints atlanta braves houston rockets chicago bulls got you covered so you could always go with EA Game Pass. Then you can download a lot of these games. Madden, if you want to put something under the tree, Madden is something that's always popular every year. And they really don't change much, but hey, people still pay for it. Then the other thing is 2K Sports, or MLB The Show. Those are various ones. FIFA. Lastly, for adults, racing games. Now, each console has various racing games. For gamers that are into racing, okay, I got you covered on that. PlayStation 5 and 4, they have Gran Turismo 7. That's pretty hot. Also on PC, you have tons of games. You have Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon 5, and also the older Forzas that they have access to. The new installment of The Crew came out, and it's so many different options, but... For Xbox gamers via Game Pass, or if you want to buy it outright, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot go wrong with the reboot of Forza Motorsport or with Forza Horizon 5. Tons of options in there. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be as intuitive as Gran Turismo 7, but still for simulation, it's pretty good. And the graphics are absolutely just drop-dead gorgeous. As far as with Forza Horizon 5, it came out last year. But the cool thing is they have various expansions, including a Hot Wheels expansion, which if you're as old as me, and I'm old as dust, you will definitely remember the bright orange tracks and you get a chance to make your car go on, doing a loop-de-loop -loop and different things like that. There's tons of options on both Forza Motorsport, and also Forza Horizon. PlayStation Plus, Game Pass, Nintendo's online component. Those are also gift option ideas. Now, as far as audio, there are tons of sound bars out there. But as far as audio that you can actually wear, Turtle Beach has you covered. You can go with either the Stealth Pros. They have one that's flavor for the Xbox also one that's flavored for the PlayStation 5. Now the interesting thing is that the Xbox version 
of the Stealth Pros, actually, they're compatible with pretty much everything. PC, Switch, and uh, as well as PlayStation. But the PlayStation ones are just configured for the PlayStations, PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. As well as, because it's Bluetooth, your phone, smart devices. If you are not looking to spend that much money, you can always look at the Stealth 600 Gen 2 Maxes that'll cost you under 100 or the Stealth 700 Gen 2 Maxes that a little bit more than 100. Also enjoyed Police Simulator Patrol Officers so that was released last year but it's real cool it's actually a mix of the getaway if you remember the getaway from the PlayStation 2 days the getaway and also Grand Theft Auto so you can be a great officer or you could just be sent home for the day if you do something crazy like taser someone in the police station so and also another um, really cool um, video game that i enjoyed was or red dead online my son he plays the devil out of that thing and it's you can actually pick it up pretty cheap a lot of times it goes on sale for nine dollars and that's a pretty good deal and you get a chance to get just the online component which is just printing literally printing money for rockstar games but you get a chance to play against other players but the only problem is you have to have an online subscription to whatever console you're playing it on hold up wait a minute so you thought it was over with you thought this guy was done nope son nope so check this out the biggest draw for any adult gamer is going to be either modern warfare a shooter or you're going to have something like starfield those are absolutely huge games you cannot go wrong with either one of them with modern warfare 3 you, know, you have an alternate version alternate universe featuring some of the most famous characters you have captain price soap mctavish makarov different folks like that ghost gas and then also in starfield you have just a wide open universe space to explore to go explore a strange new world for the gamer in your life that wants some adventure you can go with real world or you can go out of while you're gonna have to definitely pay for modern warfare 3 unless activision hooks me up with some codes that i can do a giveaway on like I did last year if you want to do that or you want to play around with Starfield the cool thing is Starfield's on Game Pass so you can play it you can also even stream it if you have an Xbox One and you don't have an Xbox Series console I absolutely love both games and of course hey I'm a little bit nostalgic so one thing that actually has consumed my time more than any other title in this year has been Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which you can actually get for $5.99 on Game Pass. Now, I don't know if that same special is on PSN. I can check back. I'll hit y'all in the comments. But those are two definitely adult video games that will keep a person just entertained thoroughly. Gamers, advanced ones, please don't get it for children. Please, please don't. Those are some additional options. Now, back to the show anyway thank y'all for tuning in look if you like this guy please share it please subscribe thank y'all so much for watching y'all stay safe i'm gonna try to upload a few more videos before christmas but thank you for watching thank you for tuning in anyway it's your boy skills talk to y'all later deuces